Hey guys, Spencer from Buildapreneur here, and in this video we're actually going to do a little review of a, uh, a product I've just started using a few weeks ago and been really excited and happy with, um, just how reliable it is and stuff, and so I want to I want to show the world it. And the product is called Landingi, and I actually have no idea. I could be saying that completely wrong, but I believe it's called Landingi. So we're going to take an inside look. We're going to review the product, and then we're going to do a demo and actually show you, um, you know, each each part of the product, so you can decide for yourself. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started. Now, before we do get started. Something to note, I'm assuming that you are an online entrepreneur or you're trying to be an online entrepreneur, you're trying to start some kind of online business because Landingi is a landing page builder. So hopefully that's what you're doing. If it is what you're doing, please click subscribe. I promise you every video we put out will benefit you building an online business. Now let's dive into Landingi. All right, so we're gonna demo everything I talk about when I talk about a feature or something like that and things that I like. We're gonna demo it and show you exactly what it is that's cool or not cool about it. But uh, I do want to kind of do like a, a big picture uh, mini review here where I just kind of talk about what I really liked about it. I came in pretty skeptical of Landingi, honestly. I hadn't heard of it before and it seemed a little strange and um, and uh, just seemed like it was pretty basic. Uh, but as I dove in and started to really play with it, I came to realize that it's not basic, um, it's niche. They're focused on one small thing and that is building landing pages or opt-in pages or squeeze pages. That's what they do, and so they focus on that, and they do it really well. But you know, they don't have a ton of options outside of that, like sales funnels and payments and doing all that kind of stuff. It's just very simply focused on making landing pages that go to thank you pages, um, or you know, opt-in pages or squeeze pages or whatever it is that you call them in your business. Uh, but that's what they do, and they do it really, really well. And I've, I've come to like really respect that because they, they, uh, I, I had no issues throughout the entire process of learning it and building my first landing page and going from there. Um, so that's, you know, there's a big picture idea of what we're talking about here. Um, now let's kind of talk about the individual pieces of Landingi. Um, like I said, it's a landing page builder. So let's dive in and have a look at landing pages and look at the editor and some of the things like that. Okay, so these are the three landing pages that I've tested building so far. Only one of them is live. And maybe I'll show you the page that I built. It took me about an hour to build this page. And it looks like this. Sorry, I should have had it up already. Um, but it took me, no, less than an hour. It took me like 20 minutes to build this page because I used a template. Okay, and you can see it doesn't look great. Um, no harm on landing needs because Spencer sucks at design. But I did use a template and just kind of whipped out this this simple you know, website slash landing page here real quick. 70% off, grab Spencer's smartwatch for $2 for 24 hours only. Pretty good deal, huh? Me, me at gmail.com. Checkbox, all very, very easy to do. And then boom, takes you to a little thank you page um, on the next page. And by the way, it's slow because my WordPress is slow, not because <laughs> Landingi is slow. Anyway, let's have a look here at the actual editor. It should have loaded at this point. So um, there's two ways you can build your first uh, landing page slash thank you page. One is totally from scratch, which I never recommend. Um, and the second is templates, which I always recommend unless you're like a crazy good designer and you want to go about that way. Um, and the reason I recommend templates is because when you click create new landing page here, it gives you the option of templates and they have a lot of good templates. I was really excited about their templates. They have templates for like every niche and every business type you can imagine. You can see here, most of them are free. There's a few that are premium. I don't know why they're premium. They don't seem to be any better than the free ones to be honest. Um, but but you can see here just all kinds of niches, investment, electronics, gardening, moving company, restaurant, uh, fitness, workout plan, insurance offer, simple form, just everything, right? You can see right here, I'm barely about a quarter of the way through here with all the different stuff. Car rental. So they have landing pages for everything. Don't start from scratch, use a template. Um, we will use a template um, and then we'll be able to kind of look at the editor as we do it. Let's pick uh, the cleaning services template. Because who doesn't want to start a cleaning services business? Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the editor. And then we're going to um, look at kind of the the WordPress side of things, like how it actually goes live and integrates and kind of the tech back end side of it. And uh, and then we'll, we'll demo everything as we go and talk about each individual feature and we'll be done. Shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes because it's a simple... It's a simple thing, right? So this is the first page. You can see here, we can disappear that if you want to see the whole page. Um, 
the way it's built is it's built in sections, okay? So you can you you create sections. You can see there's a section, there's a white section, here's a blue background section, another white section, and then you add elements to your section. And it doesn't have a ton of elements because it's not made to be crazy. It's made to be landing page, right? We we capture someone's email address and nothing more. Uh, so you can add text, images, icons, boxes, uh, like basically shapes where you can make you know back like a, this would be a box. This white right here is a white box that they added. Um, buttons, forms, videos, uh, counters, which they don't have a counter right here. We'll quickly throw one on there so you know what we're talking about. Basically, these these uh, timers right here, right, that say like, hey, this deal is going away in 24 hours or whenever it is. And then you can also add custom HTML. Now, I personally don't like this about the editor, but I know a lot of people love these kind of editors, and that's the ability to just do this, right? Do to do like it's almost like you're in Paint or WordPress or something like that. You just kind of throw stuff around and. Um, it'll you know figure out the code of it for you versus a lot of other editors. The ones that I prefer, honestly, break it into um, kind of more mo uh, what's the word here into like a six section segment where you can divide your page into sections and it, and then it, you know when it turns into mobile, it automatically stacks it all for you. And um, with Finding, you actually have to build a you know build a separate version in mobile because it doesn't really know what to do when you just throw something right here. You know, it says well, what do I do on mobile? You've got to tell it individually on mobile how to do that. Um, so I don't love that concept. I know a lot of people. A lot of people that do love designing this way. They love just designing it exactly how they want, right? And not like snapping into the place of six different sections. Uh, it does have a grid you can add right here. So you can see this is this is what people will see. There is a grid, and um, you can kind of still snap into place. So you can see I can like grab it here and throw it, and it'll kind of snap it. Oh, I can't go off there because the page is over. But it still snaps in the lines. You can see it's it's snapping into place on each set of the grid. So it still kind of has like a, a little, you know, it doesn't just free float, but it pretty much lets you put it wherever it wants. Um, let, let me scroll up here. You're going to see my eyes come up here so I can make sure that I talk about everything that I want to talk about. Um, another cool thing I really loved was layering, okay? So I can put this over here, right? And it's currently going in front of that. I don't know why I ever would, but I can right click and I can move down um, and layer it behind other things. So uh, right now it's layering it behind who knows what. So I can move it all the way back or just one level back at a time. So there it is. Now it's behind that. Um, it's actually behind everything now. I actually just love the idea of right-clicking period. I love browser things, that, you know, browser softwares that let you right-click and, and do things like that because that's how I think a lot of times. Like, oh, if I right-click it, it'll give me the options I want. And it does with landing. So very cool. Um, let me see what else we want to talk about. The... Oh, let's talk about the little mini features here. I love the undo button. Love having an undo button. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, software similar to this do not offer an undo button because um, it it puts some uh, you know makes things a little tougher on their servers. But I went back pretty far finding. Probably can't go too back far on this because I haven't done that much. But anyway, you can go backwards and forwards with your page, which I honestly just love being able to do that. You can also upload custom fonts if these, you know, the built-in fonts. It's got Google fonts, but if you don't like those fonts and you got your own brand font, that's fine. You can upload them and use them very, very easily. Um, let's kind of dive in and talk about uh, the, the the other features of it that aren't, you know, based on this. So one thing I love is, well, let me tell you this is the is the simple structure of it. You can see the main page, thank you page. So that's your landing page and thank you page, right? Very easy to get in and, and check both of them and easily edit either one of them and kind of see the, the flow of that so it knows that when you when someone pushes that button right there after the or not that button doo -doo -doo, when they put in their information on that form it automatically will send them to this thank you page right here very simple thank you page let's keep going here leave let's talk about like how it, the, the tech side of it like integrating with your WordPress and stuff like that so <clears throat> You can either buy a custom domain, like totally just buy a domain and then have that all your Landingy stuff be on that domain. And it takes about two minutes to set up. Landingy has instructions in the domain section, so I'm not going to go over that. You can buy a domain on GoDaddy or Bluehost or wherever it is and um, and then easily give Landingy the access to that domain so they can you know be in charge of it. Uh, what I did um, with mine is I actually added Landingy to my WordPress website. So you do it via a plugin. You can see there's a Landingy plugin right here. And now Landingy is part of your WordPress site, and you can just add any you know landing page that you want easily to your WordPress site. So I added this one. That's the one I just showed you called Template Test. And we can import more than one. We'll go right here and watch it happen. What it does is it 
It, uh, oh, I think I already imported that one. <laughs> Just kidding. Like I said, I haven't used this a ton. You'll go to settings and it's gonna give you an API token, okay? That right there. Um, and I don't care if you have mine because I don't do anything with <laughs> Landingy right now. But you take that API token and you go into Landingy. Boom. And what that does is that connects the two. That gives your WordPress plugin access to your Landingy account. And you can now, from now on, you can go into your WordPress plugin and you can add any of the live landing pages that you have. I only have one live landing page, so that's why we can only see one option when we go to available landing, landings, Landingy, landing. Um, so there's the only available one. But um, you can, any of your plugins or any of your landing pages can now be easily added to your WordPress site. And you know how you can make the the page exactly how you want. So mine looked like what did mine look like? The template test. So you can name it. You know whatever URL you want. Mine is named template test. Beginning com slash template test. And there it is. Okay. So that is the WordPress uh, side of things. It integrates with pretty much every autoresponder you can possibly think of. There's a list on their site, but it's like 30 or 40 autoresponders. So if you're using anything that's like slightly mainstream, you'll be fine. It can integrate. It also has a built-in autoresponder. It's very, very simple. Um, like very, very simple. So I'm not even gonna go over it. Like I, I recommend you get an autoresponder, but if you wanna just kinda have a follow-up email when somebody puts in their email address um, and you don't wanna use an autoresponder at all, uh, for you know, if you're just doing leads or whatever, and you're just calling the lead straight up or something like that, then there is uh, just a simple form where it, you can have it automatically email every lead that comes in um, without adding them to an autoresponder and doing all that stuff. Another cool thing I love is the tracking. Okay, you need to be tracking everything. So let's look in here. We can look at the. Um, it's already published, right? So we click into here and we can go look at the tracking. It says you've had eight visits. Yeah, I've had eight visits. You've had two leads, yay, two leads. That's 25%. And uh, you can actually do a lot of really cool things with this. Well, you know, it gives you the, the chart of the graph here, but you can also run split tests. So you can make a variant. You can take that page and then copy it and then make some minor adjustments like the headline or the image or something like that. And then you can, it'll show you right here which page is performing better. And you can set the settings for so that it will do the math for you and automatically, you know, choose which page is best after so many visits or whatnot. Um, so very well, very well thought out in that terms. I've tested the stats and they seem really reliable, which is good. Um, some softwares don't have the, the most reliable tracking in terms of um, you know the way they track people through their do their stuff. Um, you can also just have two totally different landing pages that are that are going against each other and have it test it that way. Um, so those are called split testing. If you like doing split testing, you can also add scripts. So if you if, you know you can add all kinds of like tracking scripts and things like that, conversion pixels and all that stuff to your pages really easily. If you just go to landing pages, click in there like that, and boom, I can add JavaScript code to the header of the footer just right there. Very easy to do. Um, and is there anything else we want to talk about? <laughs> okay, so. That's Landingy. Let's do a quick overview of everything we just talked about. Um, it makes landing pages, opt-in pages, squeeze pages, or you can also just design them as pop-ups and then embed those pop-ups into your WordPress blog or a page on your WordPress site or light boxes, which are basically pop-ups. You can add those landing pages to your domain, your own custom. You can buy a domain and make that whole thing based on your landing pages, or you can add it to your own WordPress website if that's what you want to do, which is how I would do it if I was doing it. Um, and then you can get all the tracking you need and stuff, and you can um, you know, get access to all the data you need to make smart decisions as you're bringing in leads to your business. So honestly, like a, a very good, well thought out, but simple landing page builder. Um, it's, it's fast, I've, I've done speed tests, and it, it, it was performed in like a second and a half, it loaded the page, which, which actually there's a lot of images and stuff on the page. Not in my WordPress, because I'm pretty sure my WordPress is just really slow uh, for a lot of reasons. All right, I want to talk about pricing real quick for a minute as well, um, because that's kind of part of what makes Landingy so cool. Is as you can see here, they've got really cheap pricing, right? So they, <clears throat> if you're using like a really expensive landing page builder because it does landing pages and everything else on planet Earth, uh, then you can simplify and say, hey, I'm just using it for landing pages. I'm going to head to Landingy and use it for landing pages. So you can see here they've got a $29 plan, and everything I just told you is on the $29 plan. Okay, I'm on the $29 plan, so all the stuff I just showed you is part of that plan. You can upgrade for different things like <clears throat> light boxes and premium templates and advanced integrations, um, but for a vast majority of people, you're not going to be using that or needing that. And so this $29 plan is everything that you need to get landing pages and pop-ups running 
and looking good and bringing in results uh, on your website. So if you want to sign up to Landingy, there is a link down below. Yes, I am an affiliate. No, that does not sway my opinion. I genuinely like Landingy. Like I said, I came in thinking I'm probably going to do not that good of a review, but ended up giving them a really good review um, because they pick a small thing that they do and they do it really, really well. Thanks for watching, guys.